everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to vlogmas of course <laughs> I really hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful festive season. Thank you all so much for joining me for this video in which I need to present to you my advent calendars because I haven't done that yet and that sounds wrong. <laughs> Maybe you saw this one already on my previous video which is all about London and my memories there and a little haul too, of course. But I did show you a few footage of this beautiful, beautiful tea advent calendar. This is from Fortnum and Mason and it was a very generous gift from my mom and of course of course I was very happy because I mean it's a tea for each day and I do this every year I love tea way too much so of course this was very much a necessity in my life we are a bit behind on schedule though today is the 6th of December and I've only opened four doors so far so we have number six right there and number five right here um, and as always for these vlogmas videos you will be able to see me opening each one of the doors of course and have an overall amazing time <laughs> because it's tea how could i not so that's the first one absolutely stunning and so far i love all the flavors so that's great but um one tea advent calendar wasn't enough so i have another one that i still need to open it's this cute little one by the english tea shop here in portugal it's so cute it has all of these little windows that you can open each day it is actually in order yes so you just remove each of the tea bags for each day and it will be perfect of course but is that enough though you should say yes probably but not for me <laughs> We have another one from the English tea shop and it's tea again. Yes, it is tea again. Now, you could say, Mary, that's a bit too much. But honestly, can you really have too much tea? I don't think so. Plus, the flavors are different. I checked. So there you go. This will be completely worth it because I, I need tea to survive. I need tea to live my day-to-day -day life and work. There's always tons of it in my place. In fact, I am already drinking this huge mug, as you can see. Plus, I am so excited and very happy that I'm using Christmas mugs again, of course. It is that time of the year, the most wonderful time, and I'm very happy. <laughs> With all that said, again, we are way behind schedule because it is already the 6th of December. I have two more doors to open for this one and pretty much all of the other ones for these two because I still haven't opened them so <laughs> this will be an experience I will be trying to drink multiple of these per day which could sound a bit hard and crazy for a few people but trust me I drink so much tea every day so this will be easy peasy for me and of course I'm here to bring you on this journey um, with tea, with Christmas, with books, with adventures all around and I'm very excited to give you vlogmas again this year. I'm still not sure about how many videos I will be able to actually film and post but I will do my best to bring you as much festive content as I can so I truly hope you are excited as I am. Right now I'm gonna go and grab some lunch but after that we have a full day of work to go through so that means we will be opening a couple of these for sure <laughs> this is my official introduction to vlogmas because i don't think i have done one yet but for now i just want to say i hope you have fun and thank you so much again for being here with me
giving myself a little break from work just to give you this very sad update. I hate this tea. <laughs> oh my god, I don't like it at all. It tastes like... It tastes like dirt, <laughs> which is very strange. It feels like... I don't even like the smell of it. It does What does this taste like? It, it's kind of a familiar smell and taste to me. And it's awful. It's supposed to be a green tea, but it really doesn't taste like that at all. I am slightly heartbroken right now because I really needed a good tea to keep me motivated for work. So I guess now I have to go and bring another one. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this moment because I feel like it's finally time for us to open another beautiful advent calendar and see if we can keep track of the schedule <laughs> and keep it in time. But before I do that, actually, I just got some surprise book mail. This was very much unexpected, but I'm very grateful and I would love to show you, of course. So the first one that I just received is from one of my dear patrons. So thank you so much. I'm guessing this was a Christmas gift, so I might have opened it a bit too soon, um, but I just need to show you because, oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. And it is exactly the type of book that I would buy for myself, of course, because this is Fables, Folklore and Ancient Stories, Irish Folk and Fairy Tales. And apparently it has a new introduction by Dr. Kelly Fitzgerald and the general editor is J.K. Jackson. This is the collector's edition as well. It has beautiful golden sprayed edges. If you know me, then you know that I absolutely love everything that has to do with folktales and mythology and especially when it comes to Irish or Scottish stories. I absolutely love collecting them and this is just... <laughs> so pretty i am completely in love look at that it's so tiny as well it's like a little pocket edition and i'm in love so thank you so much martin for sending this to me it was so generous of you i'm very thankful and it's just beautiful i'm in love completely um and i will of course add it to my little irish fairy tales collection next to my irish arp it will look so nice there oh my gosh I'm not sure if I've read any of these already because I have read quite a few Irish fairy tales but honestly I'm always happy to reread them and find some new favorites as well of course. It has romance and tragedy, fairies and sea folk, heroes and giants and supernatural forces. I will love this, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> And the other gift is a bit of a different one. This was gifted by my father who actually just got back from his trip and he went to Barnes & Noble and got me this book which is perfect and I would have gotten it myself as well um, because this is Madly Deeply, The Diaries of Alan Rickman and it has a foreword by Emma Thompson so it couldn't be more perfect. I I'm obsessed and I'm pretty sure that this book will make me cry because Alan Rickman was one of my favorite actors. I mean, he will always be. And when he passed away, let's just say that I had a hard time overcoming that, which might sound silly maybe, but um, yeah, that's what happened. And when I saw that this book existed, I knew I wanted to have it. And I just, it, it has actual pages of his diaries. I look at that. How amazing and special is this? Let me show you another example. Oh my gosh, this is stunning! Illustrations from Ellen's original diaries. Savoring a perfect day in the park. June 30, 2013. I love this so much. Oh, I'm definitely gonna cry. Um, anyway, I'm guessing, of course, this is one of those books that would not be for everyone, but especially since lately I have been loving um, reading nonfiction and especially memoirs, this is just perfect. So thank you so much to my dad, of course. Um, I'm <laughs> I cannot wait to read this. I think I'm gonna try and read it next year. It just it, it has to be like so easy to read. It's just a little entries of his diaries so it should be a very quick read but an emotional one as well i'm so excited and it almost has my birthday date here it says may 2nd 1995 they are one day away from my birthday <laughs> a 6 15 wake up for my first actual day on sense and sensibility oh my gosh i'm gonna love this i'm gonna love this <laughs>
Lately, I have been reading and really enjoying this little book called The Forest of Wool and Steel by Natsu Miyashita. It follows a boy who has never known real happiness and real magic until he heard the sound of a piano for the first time and particularly a piano being tuned and this follows his story as he tries to become a piano tuner as well. It, it's about the power of music and just the metaphors that it has when it comes to how the piano is built from the wood of trees and how nature and music and the beauty of planet Earth is all so intertwined and woven in together. This is exactly my type of book and I'm adoring it. I have to say, I was enjoying it more during the first half of the book. Right now it's getting a bit slower for me and it's kind of straying away from the main theme, I guess, that I was loving so much at first. But the story is still very sweet and whenever they do talk about what music can do to you, the effects it can have and how healing it is as well and also how we all listen to music in different ways. It's like books, right? We can all read the same book but we take very different things from it. It's the same thing with music and I love how they take what seems to be a simple thing which is just tuning an instrument, seeing if the notes sound right, if they sound as they should and then it questions, but how should they sound? It also depends on the taste of the person who's gonna play the piano actually and talking about that, reflecting about how the piano tells so much about a person's personality, how you play the piano, how you interact with it, how you hear it, all of that contributes to how you then make it sound and I just... I'm <laughs> this has everything to do with everything I love and I'm loving it, of course. It is quite a short read, I'm kind of halfway through I would say, um, so I think I should be able to finish it soon. I still don't know exactly which book I'm gonna pick up next. I should be reading The Professor for Bronte Long, but I don't think that will be my next one, we'll see. Um, anyway, beautiful book, beautiful message, beautiful cover as well, I am completely in love with this. It's beautiful. And now there we have it, it is time for us to open this calendar, let's see what it has in store for us. Ooh, okay, it has a box inside a box. <gasps> Oh my god, look how beautiful! Oh, I love this, I love this so much! Okay, let's see, number one, it's right there, can you see that? It's so pretty, I love this color, this is definitely one of my favorite colors, this dark green, it's so beautiful. The box looks so cute, it has some decorations and sparkles, oh it's so pretty! Okay, now it's the moment of truth. Let's open it and see what it has. How do I open this? Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's weirdly satisfying. Okay, let's see, I have it. Okay, oh, it's a black tea. That's perfect. It truly is. Black tea usually helps me a lot when I have to stay focused for a long period of time. And because I do have a lot of work to do, I think this will truly help me. <laughs> oh, I really love the box. Look at that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, don't fall, please. <laughs> We have a lot of them to open, which is exciting.
we're now almost done with vlogmas day two and it has been mostly about tea i feel like all of them will be and that's still not over because i do still have one more box to open and i thought i could show you that the last tea of this vlog i guess which will be actually number one of the box so we still have a long way to go which is very very exciting if you ask me but i thought i could also give you a little reading update so let's talk about that um, I have some books behind me that I have currently been reading. The first one I mentioned already, but it is this precious little thing. It is The Forest of Wool and Steel, and I'm still very much enjoying it. I have read, I think, one more chapter since the last update, and I'm still very much enjoying it. And right now, I think the story will take a bit of a turn, and I'm excited to see where it goes. It is really a coming-of-age story about this boy trying to figure a few things out. And I love that type of book. I love following a specific character and their struggles. And especially if you add music and nature in the same book and how important it is, how differently we look at those things. And it can be just as beautiful, just as meaningful. That's the recipe for me to love a book. So, so far I'm really liking it and I'm looking forward to finishing it soon. I also started listening actually to the Netherworld and this would have been a perfect pick for Victober, I feel like. But this was actually picked by Martin, one of my patrons, because we do have a TBR jar where my patrons can basically leave any book recommendations that they want. And every season I will pick one or more books for me to read. And this was actually the autumnal pick, but I didn't have the time to get to this one. So I'm doing it right now. And of course I will be talking more about it in future vlogs because I literally just started listening to it. But I feel like I will enjoyed though it seems to be a very sad and tragic read because it follows people who are struggling to survive in the 19th century London so I could tell right from the first couple of chapters that it will be probably a very depressing story but I'm hoping for it to have a good social commentary about this time and how in which conditions people needed to live which was awful of course but usually I do like books that take place in this time period so I'm excited to continue also I had never read anything by this author so this will be a complete surprise for me and finally what will also be probably a big surprise for me is The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie it's happening <laughs> I have been meaning to read this series for a very, very, very long time. I keep hearing incredible things about it and I'm so curious because supposedly it follows terrible people doing terrible things. So this is what you would call a green dark fantasy, which I know is not for everyone, but I personally am very curious about it and I figured since it's only a trilogy, it's not even a big series. So, you know, if I enjoy it, I could try and read the three books, maybe close to each other, hopefully, which I'm not very good at doing, but <laughs> I don't know, something tells me that I'm really going to enjoy his books and I hope I'm right, of course, but if I'm not, that's okay. Um, anyway, let me know if you've read anything by him and what you thought because so many people seem to love him. I am very curious and I'm very looking forward to seeing what all the hype is about. It will probably take me a while to finish it because unfortunately I haven't had a lot of time to physically read a book recently, but no matter how much time it takes me, of course, I am happy to finally be reading this. I miss reading fantasy and yes, I do have a lot of other fantasy series that I want to get to, of course, but that's the beauty of having options, I guess. <laughs> so those are my current reads. I, of course, hope to get to more books because I also have some book club options, but for now, to end this vlog, we have the final advent calendar box, which still is unopened. So we're gonna go and take the little tea bag number one, which is right there. It's this one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. I always love the packaging for these. They always have such a cute little Christmassy design with all the decorations and like stars and lights. I love it. And snowflakes as well. Okay, let's see what it has in store this time. So you take it out. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Okay. Ooh, white tea, coconut and passion fruit. That sounds amazing. I love all the ingredients here, especially when it comes to drinks, I feel like. And oh my gosh, this mixture must be amazing. I think it was either, oh, was it yesterday or two days ago? I think I showed you in one of the clips, it was a tea with chocolate and coconut. 
it was perfection <laughs> so i'm very excited to try this one. Oh my gosh okay i'm pretty sure i'm going to love it yes organic white tea with lemongrass cocoa coconut licorice and passion fruit i will love this one so much <laughs> I also quickly wanted to mention that I will be filming pretty soon a bookish gift guide. So if you have any requests, if you're in need of any recommendations for you or for loved ones, then let me know in the comments. If I see your comment in time for me to film the video, then I will definitely try and include it. I do apologize if I don't get to all of them, that happens sometimes, but I will do my best. So if you have any requests at all, just let me know. But for now, let me grab my tea again. And of course, I, as always, thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I just hope you're doing very well, having a magical December. And as always, I am sending you all the love, all the hugs, and I will see you again very soon on my next video. Bye, everyone. <laughs>